Okay, so I am on a roll with unboxing stuff. <laughs> if you didn't catch my last video, I did unbox a Hobonichi Techo order, which was my second order from the website this year. I'm not sure if there's going to be a third, but yeah. <laughs> um, this one in particular is a annual box that I get every year. It is from catladybox.com. And the this particular box is black cat themed. So it's geared towards cat owners <laughs> and their cats. And I don't think it's like particularly like it has to be cat lady, I guess. I don't know. I don't speak on behalf of the company, but I tend to get it because I like it. It is an annual tradition of mine to get one during the Halloween October month. And yeah, I'm usually really excited about it. So hence why I have never filmed this before, because I'm always so excited to get it. I have zero chill, zero patience in holding out and filming it. So this year I actually planned on doing that. I do want to preface that this box is a little open. I have not gone through all of the items in it just yet because you see what had happened was <laughs> I decided to unbox it on camera only to realize that I wasn't recording. <laughs> so I did only go through one item. I just wanted to be transparent and let you guys know that that's why it's a little open. <laughs> All right, so let's just kind of get into it. I'm going to move this back. I am going to try to minimize as much noise as I possibly can. I know that there is a lot of background noise as of right now because I do have a fan on and the air conditioner is going. I live in Texas. It's still ridiculously warm today. I think it's like 85. <laughs> I have the fan and AC on for my comfort, so I apologize. <laughs> October's box is always black cat themed. All right, so this is one of the main reasons why I get it every single year. And I've probably purchased it for the last four years in a row, I think. And this particular art print is really, really pretty. I do like to keep these. So this is just an example. I kept 2021 as well. And that's really cute. Actually follow this account on Instagram, I believe. <laughs> but I am obsessed with black cats. I hope to have a whole legion of them in the future. I want to have like 10 black cats somewhere. <laughs> um, so when I tell you that my whole goal ambition in life is to buy a plot of land that has a little barn, maybe even have like a really huge catio setup for like 10 black cats and they shall be my legion. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. You can ask my husband. I, t I talk about this like incessantly, but anyways. <laughs> All right. So this art print for this year is beautiful. I absolutely love it. And on the back of this, it is going to give you a little bit of insight as far as who the artist is. If you would like to pause and read that here, I will zoom in a little bit on that so you guys can pause it there. Okay. Here in the corner, it does list a number of charitable organizations that they donate Part of the proceeds if not all the proceeds too okay that is going to drive me crazy so i might move that here in a minute but um it does include some of the items that are in the box and one of the other reasons that i get this is because it does typically include catnip toys for your cats <laughs> i do have two cats and as i've kind of touched base on i do have an 11 year old orange cat named sir jack o'lantern or jack for short <laughs> Um, and I do have a four-year-old black cat named Salem Crowley Saberhagen. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you probably have never seen them, but they are adorable. They absolutely love the toys that come in this box. So let's just get into it. Um, the only thing that I did go, the only thing that I did open, you know, off camera, which I thought was on camera, was this t-shirt. And honestly, for $39.99 for the box, the fact that they usually include a t-shirt or some type of bigger item makes it entirely worth it. So this year they included this green shirt. It's kind of like this really relaxed, like what is this? Like a, I don't know what color exactly. It's like a sage green, but it is really cool looking. I love this design. It's really pretty. <laughs> green is not typically a color I pick for myself as I live in doom and gloom black clothing year round, <laughs> but this is fun. I like it. Um, if I don't wear it out and about, I'll definitely wear it at home to be comfortable in. It's really, really cute. <laughs> I, I do actually think that that is part of the reason why these boxes are worth what they're worth. All right. So the next thing, and this isn't actually listed on the card. Huh. So it doesn't say anything about a trinket dish. So let's just go ahead and open it. All right. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but... <gasps> Oh, that's cute. I love that. 
every day is catter day. <laughs> All right, so I was actually looking for something like this to put next to my sink in the kitchen. And, um, or like whenever I'm trying to make things like meatballs and stuff and I don't like to have my rings on, this is actually perfect. So I did need one of these. That's cute. All right, okay. Um, let's see what's next. So you know what? Let me just go ahead and take all the stuff out of this real quick and I'll be right back. All right guys, so um, here is the next thing that I was really excited about and it is a mug. So it looks like it's a black cat mug. Look at that, <gasps> that's cute. Now on their Facebook page every year, they tend to do a little bit of a spoiler and they will include like up to two spoilers, I think, of what's in the box. Ultimately, most of the items that are in this box are mysteries, so I have no clue of what I'm getting outside of those two spoilers. And isn't that pretty? There's a little bit of dust on it, but that's okay. <gasps> that's so cute. So if there's anybody out there that is as obsessed with black cats like I am, <laughs> or just even obsessed with your own cat in general, these are actually really fun. You don't have to have a black cat to get this box, I'm sure, but this is really cute. I have an obsession with mugs, have an obsession with my black cat, and this is a really nice mix of both. <laughs> I really think this is cute. I love this. <laughs> All right, so that's going to make a nice addition to my collection. And this is also something that I did see as a spoiler. And it was something that I was really excited to get because, not even going to lie, I was actually looking into purchasing some of these. So this is in my Amazon. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that, guys. So I did want to make sure that that wasn't on the microphone, but these are bookends. Oh my gosh, how cute are these? All right. So I was actually looking for some off of Amazon and I couldn't find any that I really liked. I do have a rather large bookshelf in my living room. And unfortunately, it some of the books tend to fall over. So this is exactly what I was looking for. And when I saw this, I was like, you know what? I don't even need to buy any because these are perfect. <laughs> All right. Those are really cute. Look at that. So this will be fun. I'm, I'm telling you, this is why people think I'm nuts. Okay. <laughs> so we did get our four things, which was a cat dish, bookends, a mug, and a t-shirt. Now this is just for the cats. So these are for Jack and Salem. They love these by the way. So every, every year I get them and they always have one in the shape of a black cat. So we have one, I think that, and they always have like some type of a, a costume on for Halloween. So I think last year one was a frog. <laughs> Just as an example, so like last year they had a Meowjigal feline frog catnip toy. That was his costume. He was a frog. And then he had a little flapping bat, which we do have those in another box. What I like to do is I like to rotate those out for the cat. So if I notice that they're not playing with them as often, I just put them in a box. And then I take them out maybe after a couple months and then let them play with it. And they're all excited about it again. <laughs> so it looks like this one is Per Royal Highness. And it does include catnip in it as well. And it's so cute. Look at that. They're gonna love this. This is actually really cute as well, which is this, like, what is this, Rotten Banana? What is it called? Oh, Rotten Banana. <laughs> Look at how cute that is. All right, I love this. They really are adorable. And I love these. I know that Jack and Salem are gonna love these. And I thought that it would be really fun to unbox something different can't be all about planner stuff even though I love the planner stuff and uh, just a little bit of other additional information is I am not sponsored by this box they don't even know I exist <laughs> um, but if you're interested in purchasing the box I like I said unfortunately this box is only for October but at least it gives you plenty of time to decide if you're going to purchase next year's October box so um, they do give you a little bit of information here. It says, we're so glad you're here. In this box, you'll find extra bonus item in addition to the items listed on the postcard, which I did. It was this trinket dish right here. So that's pretty cool. Um, we hope you love everything. I do. Thank you. And they do give you a little bit of a peek into what is in their next month's box, which is cats in the kitchen. Looks like it's the theme. So if you want to kind of check out a couple of their boxes and their themes every month. I know that they do post them on their Facebook group or you can check out some information on their website as well. I don't have any 
affiliate links or any <laughs> links that you can use but um i will include the link to the website down below that way if you are interested in purchasing them maybe not this october but you know maybe next year or hell maybe even at some point during the year because i know that they have them 12 months out of the year so i hope that you like this video guys i know it's a little different than stuff that i normally post but i thought it would be fun to kind of go through <laughs> and until the next one later here we go look you want to play with this toy look here look i got a new one for you Well, as long as you don't fight over it. <laughs> uh, it's safe to say they like it, okay.